often parts which don't follow the usual outlines and pad shapes. For components such as surface mount inductors, RF geometries, metal shields and switch contacts, it's necessary to create more unusual pad shapes. There is a new custom pad shape capability in Altium Designer 10 Update 15 which allows any copper object in a component to be used as a pad with rule-driven paste and solder mask openings. In my example, I want to build a PCB component which integrates the copper shapes needed to build a grey code rotary encoder. To do this, I'll first set up a polar grid with the necessary dimensions. Then I'll place a non-plated hole in the centre for the encoder shaft and some arcs and lines to generate the outline of the copper pads I'm creating. Using Tools, Convert, Create Region from selected primitives, I can make a solid copper shape from each outline. In the properties of each copper shape, I can make solder and paste mask openings, defined from the design rules or from a manual setback. For this component, I'll choose the option of setting the mask expansion on the regions based on design rules, and then I'll copy and paste these to make the second set of sensors 180 degrees later. As they are now, these shapes will go into the PCB layout with mask openings, but to have the necessary net assignment, we need one final step. That is, to place within each shape a regular through-hole or surface mount pad with the appropriate designator. In my component, pin 1 will be for the outer connection, 2 for the middle connection and 3 for the centermost connection. Now I can assign this footprint to my schematic symbol for the rotary encoder and place this in my designs. When the ECO brings the new component into the PCB from schematic, the footprint automatically has the correct net assignments made to copper shapes based on the physical connection to the pad objects. This simplifies the creation of custom pad shapes significantly over previous versions of it.